have this. I have a sponge. I have a brush. Today, we're going to paint a kitty cat. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. I'm going to take my water bottle, spray my paint, take my sponge, rub my... I'm only using one side. I'm trying to get most of my paint on one side of the sponge. And I can spray the back end of my sponge, and I'm going to pick up some paint. So I have pink and white on the same sponge. Cat ears are triangle shaped. So you can pull and drag to make your triangle. Or you can pounce up and down. And then I can flip to the pink side and I throw a splash of pink inside the ear. I rub a little bit of pink on the nose. The cat can easily turn into a rabbit with a few strategic moves. You can get totally caught up in just the fun feel of the paint going on. We could even put a center forehead on the cat, or we could paint the cheeks bright. But this is just a very fast, fast way to do a kitty cat. Now we're going to take our round brush. A three is really good. Twos are wonderful. I cleaned off the white off of this brush, and I'm getting my black. I'm going to pick up my black. While well, I'm picking up the black, the white paint on my practice board is having a chance to dry. Now, all you need is a suggestion of color. It's okay if these are not exactly the cat ears you're looking for. If you practice, you want to do thin to thick thin lines, curving it up, and then thin to thick to thin, pulling in. Thin to thick is what makes ears look really nice. And that thin to thick, thin going in. I'm going to pick this little more black up. My cat ears are turned sideways, so I'm going to have a into thick lines going up and in, and then I may do three thin lines going into the teeth. And then the nose. Pick up a little more black. What makes a cat look like a cat are the whiskers. You want three long, thin whiskers, right against the brush on its tippy toe for cat. If you want to make the mouth look more like a cat, you could go down. You don't need to, but you could go down and curve it in so that the tip, when you curve it thick to thin, the tip should make an imaginary line with the corner of the eye over here. Now we're going thin, we're going thick, thin, and then curve it and then pick it up. So that imaginary line is heading for the corner of the opposite eye. If you choose to do a muzzle, you want to do your whiskers off of the muzzle. If you're not doing the muzzle, it's okay to put the whiskers up a little higher. If you make a mistake with face paint on the person you're painting, it's okay to get a wet wipe and wipe it off. Just showing you how I change designs here for the cat. I'm going to redraw those lines inside. It's very important you dance the brush only on its tippy toe when making these lines. 
You can make the lines, but make sure you do it on the tippy toe. And that's how I do a fast cat.